Hirsch states that in August of 2010, a former senior Pakistani intelligence officer offered the information in exchange for the $25 million reward the U.S. posted in 2001. According to Hirsch, the walk-in said bin Laden had been a prisoner of the ISI, Pakistan's equivalent of the CIA, since 2006 and was being held in Abbottabad. Between 2001 and 2006, bin Laden and his family had been living in the Hindu Kush mountains. The ISI took him into custody after paying local tribal people to betray him. But according to the official version, U.S. intelligence learned of Osama bin Laden's presence in Abbottabad by tracking his courier to his compound. Hirsch writes the walk-in collected the $25 million in reward money and now lives in Washington, D.C. while working for the CIA as a consultant. A second key assertion is that two Pakistani military leaders had advanced knowledge of and cooperated in the raid that killed bin Laden. Hirsch identified them as General Ashbaz Pazevs Kayani, chief of the army staff, and General Ahmed Suja Pasha, general director of the ISI. According to Hirsch, Amir Aziz, a doctor and major in the Pakistani army, had been assigned to Abbottabad to provide medical care to bin Laden. When the U.S. wanted confirmation the ISI was holding bin Laden, Kayani and Pasha asked Dr. Aziz to obtain a DNA sample. In addition, Hearst reported that Kayani and Pasha were responsible for ensuring that Pakistan's defenses would not track or engage with the helicopters used in the mission. In advance of the raid, a four-person cell consisting of a Navy SEAL, a CIA officer, and two communication specialists was set up at Tarbella Ghazi, located 90 minutes by car from Abbottabad. The cell was charged with coordinating communications between the ISI, senior U.S. officers in Afghanistan, and the two Black Hawk helicopters participating in the raid. On the night of the raid, ISI guards that normally kept watch on the Abbottabad compound were ordered to leave their posts when they heard the U.S. helicopters approaching. The ISI also ordered the electricity supply in Abbottabad to be cut off hours before the raid began. According to Hirsch, cooperation from the ISI came in exchange for the resumption of financial assistance to Pakistan's intelligence community, which also came in the form of under-the-table payments. Another key assertion is that U.S. and Pakistan intelligence officials originally agreed to concoct a story that Osama bin Laden had been killed in a drone strike on the Afghanistan side of the border. The plan was to announce the killing one week after the raid and report that DNA gathered from the drone strike confirmed the killing. This was important because the U.S. needed to mask the involvement of Pakistani intelligence. This plan was hastily scrapped after one of two Black Hawk helicopters crashed at the site of the raid and had to be destroyed. The Obama administration decided to announce the killing right away. A fourth key assertion from Hirsch concerns the burial of Osama bin Laden's body. According to the official account, Osama bin Laden was buried at sea after being flown to the USS Carl Vinson. However, Hirsch says the Navy SEALs tore bin Laden's body apart with rifle fire. Parts of bin Laden's body were thrown out of the helicopter as SEALs flew over the Hindu Kush mountains, Hirsch claims.